Hey guys, today we're gonna learn about the different types of canine bites. I'm gonna tell you a little information about dog teeth and what types of malocclusions exist in dogs. Your vet might have just told you that your dog has a really bad underbite or an overbite. So I'm gonna tell you guys what dog breeds actually can have these malocclusions and it's acceptable in the AKC show ring. A judge recently asked me at one of our dog shows, what type of bite does your dog have? And I replied with a scissor bite and I showed my shepherd's mouth to the judge and she said, okay, and let us run around the ring. And in my head, I was thinking a lot of pet owners out there or even new people to the AKC dog show world are probably wondering what kind of bite does my dog have? because this question did catch me off guard and the lingo was new to me. And that's another reason I made this video for you guys today. I'm gonna show you guys several breeds in this video to demonstrate a dog's bite, which means their teeth and how their teeth sit in their mouth. This is Dakota here and she is an example of a perfect scissor bite. Most dog breeds are going to have a scissor bite. When we look at them, we can see that the molars and the premolars cross over each other, making a scissor appearance. And this is the type of bite that wolves have naturally in the wild. The next canine bite is the undershot bite. And this one we can see in bulldogs, shih tzus, boxer dogs, mastiffs, and even more breeds. And the fun thing about this bite is that it's acceptable in the AKC dog ring and judges expect them to have this bite. They actually describe it as having tusks that are wide apart, having a strong jaw, and they check the mouth and they expect to see this under bite. So if your veterinarian just said, oh, your Shih Tzu puppy has a really bad underbite, now you know that that's actually fine for those dog breeds. So now I'm here with Benji, and Chihuahuas normally have this bite. We're gonna talk about the overbite, but he's not letting me anywhere near his mouth. He is so feisty for a Chihuahua, so he's just gonna hang out with me while I teach you guys about the overbite. So in the overbite, the upper jaw significantly protrudes over the lower jaw. And this always makes me think of the Simpsons. I don't know how old you guys are, but the Simpsons had their mouth like that, and it just always makes me think about the overbite. And of course there are breeds that are known for having an overshot bite that I've even seen here in the veterinary clinic. Greyhounds are one. These breeds are known for long, narrow muzzles, leading to incidences of mainly overshot bites when they're bred. And Border Collies a lot of times are inbred, leading to overshot bites. And now here with me is Roscoe, a really sweet Border Terrier, to talk about the level or the pincer bite. So this bite is where the incisors are completely level. And you can see that when you open the mouth, you see that those incisor teeth are level with each other. They're not overlapping in a scissor bite. As we take a closer look at Roscoe's bite, we can see that he has overlap there of his incisors and his molars and everything are in a nice scissor bite. But his incisors here would be level if they were peeled back a little bit just like that and then pulled a little bit back. That would be the level bite. AKC judges may expect smaller dog breeds to have a level bite and a lot in the terrier group, such as West Highland White Terriers, Scottish Terriers, and Wire Fox Terriers. But there are some other breeds like the Bull Mastiff or the Boxer Dogs that can have a level bite. The last bite is the reverse scissor bite. And I've actually never really seen this malocclusion. There are certain breeds that may have it because the jaw is on its way to an undershot bite. So what happens with this reverse scissor bite is that the upper jaw teeth are within the lower jaw teeth and they can rub against each other. So this is a bad malocclusion where these dogs may experience pain as their teeth are wearing down on each other. 
All right, guys, I hope you learned something new today about your dog's teeth and the type of bite that they have. You might have landed on my video because you were worried about your Shih Tzu or your Bulldog's underbite and your vet made you really concerned. As long as those teeth aren't rubbing against each other and your dog is still eating fine, gaining weight, and they're happy, everything is okay. If you guys wanna see me and my dog show at AKC Dog Shows, go ahead and follow me on my Instagram, Lindsay or DVM and you guys can watch us show. It's super fun and it also helped me make this video for you guys because it gets pretty intimidating when the judges ask you all of these questions about your dog's teeth. I post a video every single Sunday so you guys can hit the bell to get notifications for when I post those videos and hopefully you'll learn something new again about your pets.